anti-unsticker device. That is worth its weight in gold. <laughs> At least for mine, anyway. It's a lifesaver that cool. <laughs> yeah, that big old thing, it'll get out. That 900 is way more throatier. All right, y'all. So I got a fun little video I thought to do today. I got my buddy over. This is Tristan. And uh, he brought his Gigantor of the Beast, is what I'm calling this. This is his 2023 Skidoo Scanic uh, Super Wide Track with a 900 Ace in it. And I thought it'd be really cool because it is the bigger image of my 2023 600 Ace Tundra LT. So I just wanted to do a little video. I was like, hey, this might be kind of cool because, I mean, it's... You know, it's big bro and little bro. So, let me flip the camera around and uh, we'll show you some of the stuff. Alright, right, y'all. So, this, like I say, there's my Tundra. This is his Scanic Super Wide track. And like I say, he has got the big boy 900 Ace in his. And just trying to show you. Mine's got a one-person seat right now. I got a two-up coming for it. But maybe I can get on here. God, this thing is huge. You can see, I was like, say, just so into the thickness. This is my sled's got a 16 inch wide track. This is a 24, 24 inch track on a super wide. So, try to show the difference conveyor belt <laughs> and little track. But, uh, I don't know what anybody would want to know about. I like, uh, just talking to him and all, like, this thing I noticed my tundra does not have is your high low range right here you have a high low so for pulling it's a lot better than than mine it'll pull but having the gear shifter on it that would be a lot better for heavy heavy loads as far as the controls and all are pretty similar on that i noticed uh his doesn't have a reverse shifter you actually hit the start button again once it's running you can tap it and it'll click in reverse where my Tundra, you actually have a flapper down here to flip it up, put it in reverse. So I know that's different. But, yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to, just kind of giving an overview, I guess, of the two, these two utility sleds. Like I say, these are the only two with the Pogo suspension, which me and him both like right here where you don't have any A-arms, you don't have any of the front control arms and stuff to get whacked. These are your, your main workhorse sleds. But, uh, Talking to you, Tristan. Like I say, so Tristan, he's a big dude. What are you like, six, two. six, two? Okay, I'm a solid five, six and a quarter on a good day, and that's my biggest thing with with like I say, I like with my Tundra, is not for being a big guy. I can move this around. Um, it's definitely more tippier because it's a narrow sled. But whereas like if you're a bigger guy, the Scanic, I could ride it, no problem. But getting in a bind is another thing. If I got to lean, I ain't got enough hiney to lean it, and it's just going to want to go. So, like, say, that might be if you're interested in something, like, if you're kind of, if you're in on the fence on one of these two machines, like, say, this is the biggest. They do make these with a 20-inch track. So, you know, if you don't want the big, big guy, if you want a little something over this, these only come to my knowledge with a 16-inch wide track. But um, in your experience, too, right, they do get stuck. Oh, yeah, easily. Every, and, every machine gets stuck. Okay, and uh, this thing will tip over. It will tip. And when it tips over... It's a pain in the butt. Uh, yeah, right? I mean, not that this is a walk in the park either, <laughs> but it's going to do it more than this one. Thing. And it's still going to ride better. It's still going to be more stable than this. But anyway... Yeah, but you love it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. I no, I love mine. Like I said, I just... These are definitely... I'm not an expert snow machiner. By any any stretch of the uh, th of the imagination, this is definitely more tippy. You gotta. This is like the dirt bike of the snow machine utility sled. I can't speak for mountain sleds, but you gotta run this more like a dirt bike because you got a narrower stance than this thing does. So, you know, this is gonna be more tippy. You gotta have more user input on this than this guy. But like I'm saying, these will tip over 100%. They're not a four wheeler, but anyhow. I was gonna show, show you like maybe the size difference of the like it's just trying to it's trying to show the in size of these things. But anyhow, let me get on this side of the 
tundras and stuff and the tundra and the scanic but anyhow whoa it's not sink but yeah oh that was really cool though same same 2023s black black and everything it's pretty cool but yeah you can see the but anyhow Anti unsticker device that is worth its weight in gold, <laughs> at least for mine, anyway. It's a lifesaver that cool. <laughs> yeah, that big old thing, it'll get out. That 900 is way more throatier. There you go. Oh yeah, there he goes. Now, big guy on smaller snow machine, <laughs> Tundra, 600 days. <laughs> and little guy on giant beast machine. <laughs> Here we go. Ugh. I can drive this thing one-handed. What do you think? There's a big difference. Yeah. <laughs> a big difference. I've already noticed. It's fun. Yeah, I mean that one, like if you like, play, yeah, playing around, you can yeah. jerk you the can weight. Turn so much more easier than that. Though. Yeah, you can jerk it around and just, you know, if you get in a bad spot, you can jerk it right over pretty quick. This one's nice, like on this trail like this. I mean, trying to hold on to that one, I still got to kind of move with it. And this one, yeah, it just go. Yeah. Yeah. Some of this has been road, you can tell, and then there's pockets and along the wood line and whatnot that hasn't been road, so it's fresh. This is about two and a half foot-ish of uh, fresh powder where it's fresh at. All right, let me keep going, see if I can go. One-handed, 900. I mean, you can tell that difference this motor is definitely throatier. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
I'm gonna put y'all down for a there second. There we go, Tundra. He's used to the big scanning, so let's see. Oh yeah. Yeah, that one you can walk around a lot easier. This pink though, I mean, it doesn't want to get stuck, I gotta say. You can still gotta work it though. This is an old trail I'm in, so it's not too bad right here. <laughs> there you go. Whoa. I'm just testing. Yeah, yeah, go for it, go for it. It should walk right up. <laughs> those that don't know a 600 is a two cylinder this is that same motor but with one plus one so it's a third this is a third a three well i can't speak three cylinder so it's a lot oh it sounds like th this joker sounds mean You need to pull a cabin. This is, I mean, this thing will pull a freaking freight train. Not bad. I mean, you gotta. Yeah. I'm just trying to carve it, you know? Yeah, yeah, play with it, dude. Yeah, I don't. Well, I know by the wood line, it's a little more fresher, but looks like over here, we're gonna have some fresher powder, too. If you want, need a side hill. <laughs> I don't need no side hill. <laughs> Come on. this with one hand and driving with the other so I need a GoPro bad yeah, maybe a Lynx I think a Lynx right there what do you think it's good. I, like I you can, you can move it I you know yeah well, 100, way easier than that yeah but like I say, I mean they both have their place, yeah. you know. But this thing, like, I know he he's gotten it stuck once in some real deep, you know, like four foot plus yeah. powder. But it's right. still once you straighten it out, it oh. oh it ain't bad right there. Yeah, yeah that's been <laughs> probably over there some. But once you get this one straightened out, you can like really just stop, get where you want, and then walk it right back up, and it'll go. That one you need to be quicker on the draw. But anyhow, it's hot. Yeah, it's warm today. It's only like 20. So I got all this just because of the wind. I need to get a helmet like him or something. Anyway, now this is the end of the video because I want to have fun. So <laughs> y'all have a good one and God bless.